Okay, so for number one, um, we want to do these set operations here. So for item A, we want A union B. So we're joining all the values in A, which are the odds less than 10, and all the values in B, which are the evens less than 10. So if we join all these, we're going to have that A union B is going to be the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Um, for item B, we want to do the intersection. So we want to see what they have in common. And we can see here that they have nothing in common because these are the odds and those are the evens. They don't intersect. So that's just going to be the empty set. Um, for C, it is A minus B. So we're beginning with a set A and we're removing set B. But if we remove set B from it, it's nothing's going to change, right? Because the values don't really change. So we have that A minus B is just going to be the set 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, because we aren't really removing anything. Um, so for item D, let's do A minus, so that's going to be A minus B minus C. So the first thing that we're going to do here is find B minus C and then remove that from A. So B minus C is going to see, let's see, we're going to begin with the set B and we're going to remove from it what C has. So 0 is not in C, we can keep it. 2 is in C, so we remove that. Um, 4 is in C, so we remove that. And 8. So B minus C is just going to be the set containing 0, 6, right? But now, if we do A minus this, so we're going to begin with A, and we're going to remove all, this, all the elements from B minus C. But it doesn't change anything, because 0 is not there, and 6 is not there. So actually, this is just going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, D. Um, so for E, we're going to have that A minus B minus C. So first, we're going to begin with A minus B, and then we're going to subtract from it C. So A minus B, as we've already seen here, is just the set 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, which is just the set A, right? So let's focus on the set here, and let's remove from it the items in C. So we remove um, 1, because 1 is in C. 3, we keep. 5, we remove, right? So that's going to be removed here. And uh, we remove 7 as well. So what's going to be left here is just 3, 9, right? So if I do, um, so for E, A minus B minus C, remember that this is just essentially just going to be A minus C because A minus B doesn't change anything. And A minus C is just going to be the set uh, 3, 9. Okay, so once I have this, um, let me see the set F, I'm going to have a union C intersection D. So first let's find um, let's find C intersection D, which is what they have in common. So they do have in common, let's see, they have one, they have two in common, not three, they do have five, they do have seven, and they do have eight. So that's going to be the set um, one, two, five, seven, eight, okay? And then if we do, uh, let's see, A union C intersection D, I'm just adding all the odd numbers to this, right? So if I add all the odd numbers to that set, I'm going to have 1, uh, 2, which is in C intersection D, 3, which is in A, um, 5, which is in A, 7, which is in A, 8, which is in C intersection D, and then 9, which is in 8. So let me just check that. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. Yes, that is correct. Um, for G, we want to do A intersection C intersection D. So actually, uh, if we do A intersection C intersection D, we're just looking at what do these three sets have in common. So these three sets have 1 in common. Um, they have 3 in common. Oh, wait, they don't have 3 because C doesn't have 3. So they have 1. Uh, they don't have 2. They don't have 3. They do have 5 because 5 is in all three of them. So they do have 5. And then all three of them have 7. And that is it. They have nothing else in common. So G, the intersection... Oh, oops, and I forgot to write this here. So let me just move this to the side. So F is going to be A union... C intersection D 
um, and G is going to be A union, A intersection C, which intersects with D, and that's just going to be, uh, the only thing they have in common is 1, 5, and 7. So 1, 5, and 7, okay. Um, the next thing that we're going to have here is A intersection B union C. So first let's find B union C, and that's just joining all the values in B and C. So we're going to have uh, 0, which is in B, 1, C, 2 in both of them, 4 in both of them, 6 in B, oops, I forgot 5, 4, 5, which is in C, um, 6, which is in B, 7, which is in C, and 8, which is in both of them. And then I want to do A intersection B union C. So what does this have in common with A? And basically, we're just picking here the odd values, right? Because A, all the items in A are, elements in A, rather, are odd. So let's see, H, uh, A intersection B union C, that's just going to be the odd values. So that's going to be 1, uh, 5, and 7. That's the only thing that they have. So that's going to be 1, 5, 7. Um, so that's H. And then for I, we're doing A intersection B, union A intersection A intersection C. Uh, so A intersection B, we have already done this. That was the item B, right? And we have seen that this is empty. So that's going to be empty. And then A intersection C is going to be the values that they have in common. I think we've already done that. I'm not sure. Okay, so A intersection C, they're going to have in common 1, um, 5, and 7. That's it. So if we if we join these, if we join 1, 5, 7, and the empty set, well, that's just going to be 1, 5, 7, right? So I, the A intersection B union uh, A intersection C, that's just going to be 1, 5, 7. And lastly, for J, we want to do uh, A union B uh, minus C, oops, minus C intersection D. So we've already done A union B, which is the, the set here, right? A union B. So that's just going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on until 9. And then we want to remove from it all the items in C intersection D. So if we remove, let's see, um, we're going to keep 0. We're going to remove 1 because that's in C intersection D. We're going to remove 2. We're going to remove 5. We're going to remove 7. And we're going to remove 8. So actually what we're going to be left with is just then going to be the set containing uh, 0, 3, 4, 6, and 9. Yeah, that is it. So that's it for number 1.